Hello and welcome, this is Aceless John playing EverQuest 2, and we are back, and Snark and I, I'm about to go kill Charles Arker's paramour girlfriend, the wood elf that is tempting him beyond the ability to bear, so search the... Search the Wildwood. Search the rocky dig to the east inside the Wildwood. Okay. So basically this is going to be our run around and go to point A to point B, point C thing. Hey, people. Any of you happen to be a cliff diver canyon? All right. That would be, yeah, right there. So let's actually run super fast. While we're running around, uh, let's talk about something less boring than running around and just getting dings. One of the things that this game provides is a uh, lot of skill crafting stuff. Bear Valley? Wild Bear Vale, okay. And those skill craftings might seem kind of... Yeah, but they're not. They're they're really actually when I played it, which was a long time ago, and I, I have a tendency to believe that they're going to continue with that trend. There were a lot of really cool things that uh, you can build. Ah, oh, there's Lena. Oh well, killed her real quick. Ah, uh, she's dead. So all that cool crafting stuff is actually, it's very, in my opinion, uh, not very, but it is tedious. It takes a long time to gather materials, and then you end up having, like, bags and bags of, like, 63 different things from one group, like a whole bunch of different types of roots, a whole bunch of different types of leaves and vegetables. So it takes up a lot of room, but it, it adds a different dimension to the game that is, uh, I don't know, I think maybe just unique to is this she game. dead? Yes, do you want details? I don't care for details. I just want to make sure she died with honor. Tell you the truth, I don't know how she died. She was dead when I found her. I see. I hadn't expected that. The main thing is that Leanna will no longer bother me. I wonder, though, who could have killed her? We may never know, and I can marry my betrothed in peace. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's look at this item that I just got. Uh, examine. It is strength, wisdom, so it's kind of an all-around good thing to have with a whole little tiny biddle. So there's that, and I think that pretty much finishes the main quest for this island. Anyway, back to crafting. I'll show you where the crafting den is here. I'm not actually going to do the crafting quests. Basically, I'm just going to play this character to level 30 to see a couple of things. Whether or not I really want to play this game again or not. And whether or not the pay for pay play to pay has ruined it or not. So far, I haven't really noticed any difference in the pay to play uh, from the old version, really. Uh, but, yeah, there's the skill artisan and crafter. That's the trade skillers workshop. That's where you would go to do trade skills. And they have like tables and <clears throat> things of that nature. And there's a series of uh, like mini, I guess they call them mini games that you can do while crafting and you get different skills. And there's a whole bunch of different, different things. Menders. Ah, oh, this guy will fix your equipment for you because it does deteriorate over time. Banker. Huh. I have not been to the banker. I guess I could put my stuff in there. And I have shared banking slots, but, you know, this is the only character I have, so... Wouldn't be very helpful to share. Uh, so I think I might be done with the island. Your bravery has been noted, young one. The Tunarian Circle of Elders was defeated, and their treasure is ours. The militia troops will remain here to clear out the remaining Kinosians, but they present no danger to us. 
I am honored to serve the Overlord. It was my pleasure to fight beside you. I have no doubt that you will be well received in Freeport. When you are ready to leave the outpost and venture to our great city, speak with Captain Varlos on the deck of the Far Journey. His ship is waiting on the dock through the South Archway. Farewell. Thank you. All right, so check and see if this is another feather or not. Yeah, it's a feather. Uh, well, okay, let's go check out this Freeport place. Uh, this is not in the same area, so maybe this will be some more of that shell stuff. Schools of fish and other things you can do. Yeah, more of the shell quest. Uh, with the schools of fish, you can fish them. Get fish and things like that. Caught seven frog legs, which you really have no use for because you can't eat them. They're handcraft. They're at crafting items. So I'll actually probably send end up selling those to. Is this creepy looking good, dude? What? Nostalgia. Okay, I don't know what that means. I'm too ignorant. Travel to friend. Use this bell to travel to a friend if you are on separate islands. Okay. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so if you're playing with somebody and they have these, apparently have those bells around so you can go to the same area. Because I think they actually have several copies of this identical location. Like different instances. And when they get filled with a certain number of players, they automatically pop you into the lowest population. Alright, here's the captain again. Uh, let's go to Freeport. Oh, I can go to all these other places too. But let's go to Freeport. You best be sure to explore the whole island, you hear? Uh, I'm really ready to go to Freeport. Thanks for the ride. Don't you mind? We get paid to do that. The free part. You figured out some things that, that, that never happened. And so it, it's all lies. Okay. New quest. Slums to riches. That The changes of the, to the city of Freeport can be seen at every turn. One of the biggest changes was the relocation of the inn's rooms from the slums and blood haze inns to the jade tiger's den. Uh, there are rumors of conflicts within the slums that force the move regardless of the reasons. Uh, I should visit the jade tiger den to see those inn rooms myself. Alright, I will also get like a candle and a table. I think that is the player homes. Huh. So, let's pull this up. Huh. Can I... Okay, let's... Journal? Quest? Can I, uh, right-click again? I guess not. Zoom out. And let me see if it's locate the jade and find the door to the basic inn. Uh, okay, how about inn? Fine. Jade tiger in the basic room. All right, there. So now I have a. T That's an interesting little uh, search function that I just discovered. <laughs> Okay, so I have a, uh... Just somewhere to the west and above you. Okay. So, to the west and above you. There I am. There it is. So it looks like I have to go... Either that way and up through here... Or this way and down. Let's go this way and down, because that, at least I know, is a real honest-to-goodness path. 
The other looks like there either was a gate there or something that may or may not allow me to have access. Look at all these cool things. It's kind of hard to do this when you're looking at a map at the same time. Running through, running through. Okay, so I gotta go follow the main trail up and around and just go straight down through here. Yeah, that's there. Gain 200 experience points for that. Ah, there's my tr my actual shiny trail now that I've got close enough. <laughs> you discovered the jade trail. Oh, there's an actual uh, another. Well, let's talk to him since we're going to housing anyway. Uh, hello, Snark. I am the innkeeper of this area. And we have received word of your arrival and have room prepared for you. Would you like to know more about housing? Yes. Seems the word of my accomplishments have been spread like wildfire. Flower. Fire. Wildfire. <laughs> and the innkeeper here would like to set me up with my own home. I can also speak with the innkeeper about the specifics of housing. Okay. Citizen's Guide. Net to Opportunity. Chandelier or mirror. Okay. All right. What would you like to know? Uh, how can I place items in my house? To place an item in the house, you must find find item in your inventory. Once you have done so, right click on the item and select place item. What kind of houses is available to me? Many different kinds of houses available at the city of Freeport. In reward your services, or the overlord has awarded you a one bedroom house for free at this time. Uh, is any other housing available? Yes. Okay. Um, what is the market board for? The market board is a house item similar to books, beds, and pets and other such items. What sets the market board apart from the rest is, however, that once your market board is mounted on a wall in your home, you can sell items to other citizens of Freeport. Ah, these items can be purchased by your fellow citizens at a broker. Brokers can be found in all primary districts of the city, as well as the trade skill where wholesalers. Okay. Uh, what is my house for? You will find that your house has many uses. The first of which is the ability to store house items. Each house is limited to the number of house items you can place in it. So as you gain more possessions, you may wish to display, uh, wish to display more possessions. You may wish to display. You will need a larger house to do so. Um, that's enough for now. Thanks. Use the room door entered first time. Use the room door to all right. Uh, basic den zero one. What? Uh, mm, uh, I thought it said free. Okay. But get your room. Once you have purchased your room, click enter to enter your room. Okay. Enter. Free. What part of free do you not understand? All right, accept. Quest reward, accept. So we're in my little house. Um, let's go to my bags. Right click, place. Okay. Uh, marketing board, place. On the wall, I guess I would put it right here next to the door. Guardians, Defender. Here's a mirror, place, so I can look at my sexy self. Um, place. Can I get it on this beam right here? I guess not. And place another chair. Let's put it right next here, so I can put my makeup on it. You know, because Sarnax are really into that. And place. Put my candle right here on my makeup table so I can see. And this item can be placed in any house. Offers the quest Freeport Citizen's Guide to Opportunity 2nd Edition. Uh, read. Uh, you want to do your part to bring about the glory of the Overlord. If you work on the task, you must keep this book until you finish them all. 
Not affected if you discard this without accepting a task. Next. Accept. Quest complete. This book is one way. Okay. That was easy. On your journeys, you may encounter items which are part of a larger series. You can collect these items as you travel, inspect them to determine whether they're worthy of your retention. Go then and investigate the wilds to find rewards beneath your feet. Okay. That's for collections. Freeport history is filled with the greatest explorers of all time. Now that belong to Overlord, you find so will aid his glory throughout Norath. We have already identified key features throughout the sea, such as Fountain City, Fall in a scale yard. You are strongly urged to take this moment to look upon the execution plaza in West Freeport. Go now. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to keep this because that is kind of weird. Um, let me see. Journal. Quests. First time buyer. I'm see the basic items. Okay. Uh, I'm done with the quest, apparently. So there's that. And now I'm going to leave. Oh, actually, I don't have to use the house. I can use enter, exit, decorative mode, open the house window. Leave house. There we go. City of Freeport. All right. And I see some arrows, so we're going to go towards, I mean, those feathers. Gonna go towards the feathers. Please take a look at my wares. Don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Uh, I was hoping you have some work for me. You're in luck. It just so happens that I need someone like you. Someone who's not afraid of a few ghost stories. I need you to acquire some important items for me. I'll pay you, of course. What do you mean by ghost stories? Old legends say that the caverns are haunted. <laughs> it's all superstitious rubbish, of course. The way everyone cowers in fear at the mention of the caves, you'd think they'd never heard of the Walking Dead before those silly legends. Uh, what caves are you talking about? I'm talking about the Wailing Caves. What other haunted caverns are there? Despite the rumors you may have heard, the caverns are no more haunted than the Savannah. So you need items from the Wailing Caves. Precisely! I need someone to venture into the caverns and gather a few ingredients for me. The task shouldn't be too difficult for someone like you. What ingredients do you need? Oh, just a bit of seat bile from a primordial and the venom sack of a rare spider called Soul Spike. Hardly a worthy task for one with such worldly experience. But still, I humble myself to ask for your services. Okay. So what's a Soul Spike? Soul Spike is a wailing spider, one of the species that live in the caverns. He's a bit larger than the rest. His venom is said to be incredibly potent, though encountering Soul Spike is extremely rare. Still, nothing for a brave adventurer to fear. Why do you need these a ingredients? A client of mine has requested a very mm, interesting potion from me. Of course, I'm more than capable of brewing it, but only if I have those ingredients. So, are you interested in the job? Yes, I'm interested. Oh, it's orange, so that's... That's a little difficult. Excellent. You've put all my worries to rest. Make sure that you gather two samples of primordial seat bile, and we only need one venom sack from Soul Spike. I understand. All right, well, there's one of those. I think the others look like they're outside. I like how you play. Your tunes are, shall we say, not very loud. All right, feather, 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 feather. Okay, feather, 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 right. Feathering here. Okay, that's a little disturbing. 
There's supposed to be a feather here. Ambassador. And ambassador. Well. Ah, well, there's an underground thing here. Well, that might have something to do with it. Heading into the underground thing. We're possibly underneath my very feet in whatever that is. Yes, there is a thingy there which I must delve into in order to get a quest. Unless, of course, I find a quest or two before I get to wherever that is. Freeport Registrar. Ah! Change of citizen. Hello. I am here to offer assistance if you wish to change citizens. No, thank you. I'm happy here. Okay. Quartermasters. A door that doesn't open. Yeah, so... Obviously not the place I need to be. Because that does not go to the arrow person. The Emporium. I'm discovering all kinds of things. That wasn't a discovery. Ah, there's another arrow over here. Or is it the same one? Neric Chancery. Huh. Armory? Anybody got a quest for me? No. No, they don't. Ooh, Thieves' Way. Whoa! That was a little alarming. I am now a level 10 adventurer. Woohoo! Where's this? Sarnak Mentor. Greetings. Sarnak. Snark. An honor to meet you, Ambassador. That's my name. I am pleased to see the simple courtesy still part of the imprinting. Tell me, Snark. Are you available to assist me in a local matter, or your purpose here today strictly functional? What kind of local matter may I assist you with, Ambassador? For the past few months, a local merchant has expressed repeated interest in acquiring a statuette I had of the hero Gorowin and his defeat of the Spiroko Spirok commander that had enslaved us. Had? Yes, had. When I arrived in my office this morning, the statuette was missing. I am scheduled to meet with Grand Duke Lazarus Hazaran of the Freeport Militia today, and I will be unable to conduct the investigation. Would you be willing to pursue this on my behalf? I will chase down the ones responsible for this insult, Ambassador. Yay! I actually have a quest. And here's another one, possibly. Probably. Greetings! I have wondered, heard wonderful things about Gorwin. Gorwin is a place of beauty, forged within the depths of an ancient dormant volcano. She thrives and thrums with the beat of our proud people. Go on. Is there a way for citizens of Freeport to live there? I can arrange for that, yes. I will be most pleased to grant you papers as long as you travel to our city. All that will be acquired is that you have papers stamped and signed by Ambassador Goodwin, Freeport's emissary to Gorwin. Then give me the papers. I'm ready to go. Ah. Thank you, Zachrak. Well, that was an easy quest, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, well, you know what they say. Beware Starlax bearing easy quests. Alright, let's look up here. And clear. I see anything like maybe where these quests are supposed to end up. Show Ambassador Garn Goodwin, the paper Zarlik. So maybe I can search for Goodwin. 
Fine. Well, that didn't work. Um... There's the quest. Speak to the antiquities dealer. Well, that helped. That flashes when you... Nope. Can't see it. Nope. Not in the zone. Okay. So let's go talk to the antiquities dealer. Ah! A little glowy trail. Not even very far away. That's easy enough. Are we going to have to turn him into pulp? Or her? Or it? I'm looking for a small statuette of a Sarnak rendering an... rending an aviac. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? That's my mean Sarnak voice. Uh, that's a very specific request. I don't have anything like it at the moment, and unfortunately I have no idea where to find one. Strange, you've been very eager to acquire one, matching that description from Ambassador Azarak. Arazak, are you no longer in the market? The ambassador has made it clear he's not interested in parting with his trinkets, so I have decided to stop asking him about why. What's this about? That trinket was stolen this morning. You are my primary suspect. You have no proof. You have no authority. Leave my store at once. I have no proof. As of authority, the crime is committed on Goran Embassy sovereign territory of Goran itself. I am certain the militia will prove, uh, prove, provide me the authority I need. Blah, 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 blah. Stick my tongue out at him. Which is quite a big deal if you're a Sarnak. Alright, so... Oh, tutorial things. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm not even going to look at them. I do have one alternate events thing, but... Yeah, there we are. Go, 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 go. Um, show ambassadors. Okay, head towards the militia house. Um, militia house, huh? M I L I. Oh, great. Well, let's bring up my journal, see what the full thing is. It's probably not even in this zone. Speaking about the... Um, head toward the militia house. Yes, but where is the militia house? House? Let's just look up house. The militia, Freeport Militia House. There it is. All right. Okie dokie. Southwest and above you. So I am pointing that way, so I need to go out and around and up. Oh, I wish those guards would just leave us alone. Yep. There's a little orange arrow pointing me in the direction I need to go. Ah, but on the way there, I'm going to stop and look at this much cooler statue of Lucklin. And I got, you know, experience points for discovering it, so... Kind of a big deal. He's riding a flaming horse. How cool is that? Whoa! Thank you, Headburster. Not very helpful, but in some little help. Okay, loot all. Defending myself against ambush and have found evidence in the merchant's involvement. Okay. Salmon. 
Um, talk to the mysterious Sarnak? Behind me. Okay, hello, mysterious Sarnak. Uh, you are very quick to follow one that's not... To follow one that is not your comrade. Your will is stronger than most, yet you still obey. Why? My assistance was asked for it. Not ordered. What concern is this of yours? Ask. Then maybe he senses it as well. It is it as well. Forgive my presumption. Sense what exactly? Your abundance, of course. For the vast majority of Sarnak, all that matters is the perfection of combat, the thrill of the hunt, and the authority of ranks. How does any of this apply to me? You are not bound to the structured order. This can be the source of your greatest strength, the cause of your ultimate downfall. Excuse me, warrior. I need to consider the implications of this. Consider what? <gasps> Poof. All right. Well, confront. I guess I go back down. Oops. Let's clear this. Yep. Back down to where I was. Talking to. Confronting the. Before I do that, I want to come up here. Smite your enemies with no mercy. <laughs> Want to discover that? Discover what other this is. There we go. Because if you're going to run around with your sprint on, you might as well make good use of it. Ah, oh, there's my glowy trail. Good thing I know where I'm going because it's kind of useless. Really. You're going to take me behind here. Oh, I, I seem to be in the right place. Except I'm totally not. I dislike assistant assassination attempts. You have no proof. Uh, is this receipt here one of yours? Yes, it is. It's not that it matters. What's the point? The writing matches the note carried by one of the foolish beings that attacked me. I know you were involved with the theft of the ambassador's statue. I want it returned immediately. Ah, I see there's no more point in dying. Deny any further. Some of the sea furies had overheard one of my attempts to convince the ambassador to sell me the statuette. They offered to get it for me, for a price. So you hired the thieves responsible, making you just as guilty as they are. There's no need to talk of guilt. I'll return the statuette. Why don't we just drop the matter and let it be closed? And Gorwin, the theft of anything not directly needed for survival is an act of dishonor. Those without honor have no value to society as a whole and may be destroyed. This isn't Gorwin. The embassy is, and crimes committed... There, fall under Gorion law. Going down. Tiny merchant. Alright, so now I gotta... Here, how about a fist? A magic fist in the face. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. All right, show Ambassador Gorwin. All right, before we finish this, I want to look at my character and appearance, wardrobe, skills, factions, passive effects, mounts. Don't have any mercenary. I need to buy a mercenary. Currency, housing. I have house. Dungeon. Must okay. Biography options. EQ sharing. Okay, let's look at what is the looking for group, community, map, character, knowledge. Not what I'm looking for, but that would help. Alternate advancement. This is the thing I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, this is how AA works. It gives you uh, different abilities that you can spend. Experience to AA conversion, so half the experience I got will go to my alternate advancements. Uh, I can develop my character here. Apparently, you have options available. Um, so I can choose these things to make my uh, character unique, like attributes. Continence will increase my stamina. Uh, insight would increase my wisdom. Um, every 10 levels, I get an another thing that I can choose. 
uh, for instance, if I wanted to make these all. So I got level 10, so I get to choose one of these from the different categories. Uh, nobility, I uh, probably will get combat. Um, victory, not only are you skilled in attacking, you can get an additional chance to block with a shield or deflect on attack. Clarity during combat, your pursuit of divine magic, not really my character. Your study in the divine arts grant you additional. So there, one side will be magic and the other side will be, they'll be opposing varieties. Uh, Non-combat pools. Uh, your devotion to study divine arts increases your power po power reservoir. Your extra stamina gives you an additional hit points. Resist. Focus of warf warfare. Your skill in fighting has increased your ability to absorb physical blows. Increase mitigation of casters uh, versus physical damage by 30%. By 30. Uh, so it's a passive spell. So it gives me 30 points of damage absorption. Uh, spirituality. Um against arcane against physical so if I'm being attacked by spells this would help uh, this is for different trade skill stuff which I'm not going to do uh, reflexive landing you increase your stamina allows you to absorb damage from falling more readily so you don't get hit get hurt as much damaged binding your wounds by healing for you up to 20 so if you have a lot of bandaged wounds take wounds to bandaging this would help a lot uh, so I'm just going to do this one real quick because uh I want to get it done with. And then the other alternative, this is like you have to buy so many in order to get down to the bottom. And the, uh, of course, the farther you get, the more awesome they are. Uh, there are different kinds, um, area, ranged, uh, defense, uh, group attack, things of that nature. So uh, acceleration strike. So apparently I am going down... So apparently it's auto spinning it for me. Eh, I don't care. Slayer speed increases Slayer's attack speed. An acceleration strike has and it hits an enemy and is followed soon thereafter by three more combat arts or by letting the 24 seconds expire. The Slayer's attack casting and recovery speed increase. So these are just different things that give you Guardian, Shadow, Herrick. So there you go. Points in Warrior Advanced, unassigned points, zero. So that's kind of uh, what's going on there. And if you just want to level real fast, uh, don't put anything into your alternate advance because you can change this from 50 to zero. So if you wanted to get no AA, I th think you can change it. Server basic level profile solo. Oh, because I, I have a profile. It's it's uh, that may be one of the things that I cannot change because I'm not a pay for. I don't know. Oh, view mode. Okay, build mode. All right. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Because I'm going to play this guy up to like level 30 just to see. Let's turn this quest in real quick. And that will be the end of the episode. Mostly it was just me running around town. But I have successfully recovered the stolen Gorn artifact. Thank you, Ambassador. Was there anything else I could do for you? Nothing for me. But the Grand Duke is asking if you could be interested in learning about proportion justice and penal system. As part of a cultural... Thank you, Ambassador. I will consider the Grand Duke's request. Uh, crime and punishment. Alright. Alright, so next round, uh, next episode, we will go a little farther in. Maybe do that level 10 quest uh, for the Grand Duke. And I will probably go running around looking for a mercenary. Uh, because mercenaries are an aspect of this game that really add uh, to the playability. Because uh, you can do a lot of really cool things, and your mercenary can really, really hurt bad guys. So, Ace is John, playing EverQuest 2. I'm glad you could join me, and until next time, I'll see you around.